The Senate has called for a state of emergency on unemployment in the West African oil producer, with over 23% of Nigerians unemployed and less functional industries to create jobs, not to mention, of course, the trade shenanigans we've just spoken about. Parliament is now pressing governments to place all unemployed Nigerian young people on an allowance. With the details, here's CGTN's Kelechi Emekalab. It's been over three years since Mike Arinze graduated from higher institution. But the electrical engineering graduate has yet to secure a job since leaving school. Now he grills and sells fish to eke a living. And this is one of the many survival trades he's had to learn over the years. I must tell you, it wasn't easy. You know, I had to, I have to do all kinds of jobs just to see me, keep me going. I have to, um, I have to do, I have to learn organizer work. I have to learn grilling. I'm messing like this as I'm talking to you. So I do wiring. So I have to do all meaningful jobs just to keep me going. There are nearly 16 million youths who suffer the same fate as Mike. Nigeria churns out on average half a million graduates yearly. Unemployment rate here in Nigeria maintained an average 23.68% between 2014 and 2018. It hit an all-time high of 38% in the second quarter of 2018 and its lowest in the fourth quarter of 2014 at 11.7%. The statistics currently stands at 23.1%, but without necessary interventions, it's projected to scale up to about 33.5% by next year. And that's why Parliament is calling for a state of emergency on unemployment. In a recent resolution, the Senate urged government to initiate a sustainable unemployment benefit fund for its unemployed population. It's coming at a time the World Bank is forecasting Nigeria's on the verge of yet another recession. More so, the nation is looking to fund its $34.7 billion budget from external borrowing. I think it's very, very unrealistic. Um, based on the fact that the economy is crumbling, um, there are different sectors of the country, of, of the economy that is yelling for attention. We have to borrow and keep borrowing to fund our budget. It's very unrealistic. There are also concerns about the disbursement of such funds, as previous social empowerment programs have been marred by corruption. If you're creating funds like this and schemes like this to help unemployed people, what is going to end up doing to economy is opening up ways for corrupt politicians to fill in names of people they feel or they say to the government that they are unemployed and at the end of the day embezzle money out of the government's coffers. So it's, it's not a good one. Revamping the nation's moribund industries, creating graduate apprenticeship schemes and initiating tax incentives for private employers are some of the ways experts suggest could improve Nigeria's worrying unemployment statistics. Kelechi Mekalam, CGT and Abuja, Nigeria.